Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret, and before we start this video, I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on the latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So in front of me, I have the Fantasy Hydra Stabilizer. This is a stabilizer, a hand stabilizer for filming with your DSLR, and I always love these kinds of things. So you can use this one-handed, you can use this two-handed, you can use this with an iPhone clipped on top or you can use this with a light and a microphone and with an action camera as well. It's of course I think translated from French or Chinese, I don't know. Fantasy will provide a simple but efficient stabilizer to make smooth and better footage with comfortable experience. Enjoy your creation. So it's vibration reducing and stable holding as well. It has dual mode and a one-handed mode. And it has a tri-shoe adapter for attaching video lights, microphones, other accessories, ball head adapter plug-in for any position and any degree, and an action camera dock for GoPro, Sony, Garmin. And it's compatible with practically any DSLR out there right now. So, 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 of course, I've already made this thing because I used it to see if it actually worked. So in the box you get this thing you have to mount. You can see that there are different options to mount this. So you can mount it like this two-handed. You can mount it one-handed with a camera and a light. And you can mount it for your iPhone as well for example. So the grip itself is very good. I had to plug this in over here and then uh, screw the screw in here but I only could screw in one screw so that's maybe a bit of a negative thing because the other one yeah it, it, it just didn't work so I couldn't screw in the other one but hey it's still very strong with one screw so that's not a big deal you get a tissue for cleaning and then some other gadgets so this is for your GoPro and this is also a mount for your GoPro, which you can mount over here as well with the screws on the bottom. This is a mount for the top over here for your phone, for example, or for other things, of course, that you can mount. Because you get a phone grip over here and just turn this on here, oh no, like this. And then you can mount your phone in here. This is the other piece of the arm. I've used this handheld like this with my Nikon D3200 over there and I gotta say it's pretty cool. I'm not going to say it stabilizes everything. You can see some shots from that over here right now. It doesn't stabilize everything as you can see but it's, it's very nice to hold. I got my microphone on top, I got my DSLR on the bottom and it's very easy to use with one hand. It's, it's, it's way better than holding your DSLR and then you get way more shocks shocks from your hand shocks from from walking around and you don't get these with this stabilizer of course it's not smooth like a, an electronic stabilizer but it's smoother than holding it with your bare hands there are different ways to plug in your microphone over here because there are different feet in here which you can plug in your microphone So my camera is mounted to this thing as you can see. Everything is still available so I can zoom in, use my, my sharp thing. Sharp thing, like what, what, what am I saying? So I really like this setup with two hands and I don't know if you can see it. Is that stable? I don't know, maybe. What do you think about this? Let me know. If you think this is stable, so this is like with filmed with two hands, I'm going to the camera and I'm going back. I'm going to just walk around a bit so you can see if that is stable. So I just go over there. And this is all filmed with my hands as you can see. Of course I can't zoom in or zoom out when I'm walking around. So this is from a previous video. And my microphone is also mounted over here. Over here on the top, over here. It's mounted over there. So yeah, this is this table, I don't know, it's a bit heavy. I feel that it's a bit heavy, but I think that it's, it's pretty stable, nonetheless. 
it's uh whew, it's heavy to carry around there all the time but uh it's it's uh it's pretty cool to see how cool uh, this is actually very cool to have my camera mounted on here it's it works very well and the footage doesn't shake if you ask me i'm going to zoom in a little bit because then you can see the shake better as you can see so let's focus So I'm relaxed right now when I'm holding this with the stabilizer thing and it's who it weighs a lot. It's, it's actually pretty heavy. So that's maybe a negative thing. But Simon, you only showed us the DSLR thing with the microphone, didn't show us the action camera. Well I wouldn't use this for an action camera. Do you see yourself running around with a GoPro on here like whoa then I'm filming? No, this if you have a GoPro, you need the, the, the shocky footage, you need the real life footage. But for cool videos, for like real videos, shooting cars for example, like ooh, slow mo, ooh, all that stuff. This is cool. I really enjoy this. It's not a lot of money as well because um, this is not like stabilized electronically, which means that of course you can't have the smooth footage like from a DJI Ronin, I think it's called. Or like a handheld stabilizer gimbal for your iPhone. Of course a gimbal for your iPhone or your smartphone won't work with the DSLR. So if you really want something for your DSLR and you want something electronic, you'll have to pay I think at least 400, 500 or $1,000 if you want to have something high level. This is handheld. This is powered by your big arms, like your strong arms. And it does the job, so why would I not suggest this? This is a budget-friendly stabilizer with your hands. It's a little heavy, but maybe it's a good workout for you. I don't know. For me, it's a bit heavy to hold this a long time. But it does the job, and you can see everything, and it's pretty cool to have your hands clipped to both sides, so you can have like a really stable view. And you still have your view of your camera over here and your microphone over here. So that's that's pretty cool. You also can, of course, I've already uh, showed it, you can plug in your phone as well. So if you can, for example, connect your phone to your camera or something like that, you can view your camera screen or an external screen or a light. You can plug everything on here. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoy this thing. I'm going to use it in the future as well for my Tesla video. Oh, which is coming, which is coming. There's a Tesla video coming. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. And I'm going to use this for that video as well. So yeah, I would suggest this thing if you're looking for something that's uh, cheap for the price for, for what you're getting, of course, and something to stabilize your footage without having to pay, of course, a thousand dollars for something electronic, then this is a very good alternative. Right, I would say if you have any questions regarding this stabilizer, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very very glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos and I hope I'll see you. Yes, you is watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen. I don't know, in the next video. Bye-bye.